So I'm gonna show you my cart and see if you can tell where I'm at. It's orange. What's your hint? Do you figure it out? I am at Big Lots and I just wanted to make a quick video to show maybe a few ways that you can it's really tough out there right now financially um, as far as buying groceries and you can always come here and check things out and of course this is the no-no aisle <laughs> no 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 um, but there's things here that might help you save a little bit of money like look at this I'm not getting this because I already have a big one at home that's what she said this is a gigantic thing like this is huge look you won't even won't even fill on the shelf coconut oil for $15 is it a good brand I'm not 100% sure I can't really tell you can't really tell you I haven't tried that one so many brands of everything out there if you don't want that size they have that size but there's a lot of great affordable things here that aren't in comparison to mm, the grocery store. I recommend coming and checking it out and seeing if, if there's anything that can help you. It's difficult out there right now, you guys, with the, with the inflation. But it's definitely worth a shot. Big old thing of pink salt. And let's take a look around. Let's see what the price of this is. I actually really like some of these. It really depends where you get it from as far as price goes. I think I saw these other 91 Dixie for like seven or eight dollars. Yeah. So like this right here, $5.99. I've bought this one before. I've only bought it at Publix. I think it was running like $7.99. So really, mm, a couple of bucks, nothing crazy. They don't taste too bad. They're okay. Doesn't really make a lot. That's the problem with it. 8.8 .8 ounces in comparison to like, you know, it's probably about half, half the amount of something that you would get. that brand i do like halo top they make an ice cream i've done a review on it you can go check that out as well it's somewhere on my youtube channel <laughs> i do like these i'm not sure if i've done a review of these or not but the fiber in them is a little bit high uh, six grams of fiber and 19 grams of carb so um, realistically it's only going to be about 13 grams of carbs which isn't too bad for a snack when to get it in the frame. <laughs> I'm just talking and recording. And here's an aisle where they have a bunch of nuts. I guess maybe it's pretty random the type they have, but that's a pretty big bag of nuts for about ten dollars. That's not bad at all. Let me pick that up. It's a ranch flavored nut. Um, also, they have some almonds over here. It's not bad. Really just depends on um, what's on your meal plan, your diet. If you're not following a diet, eh, you probably need to. Just saying. Just saying. If you need help with that, just reach out to me. And then we have a bunch of chips over here, and that's definitely not going to be... Yeah, that's definitely not going to be on my list of things to get. Even though the popcorn isn't too bad, it's just made of corn, and corn is crap. But I did just find this. Todd's Egg and Lentil Protein Crisps. I've never tried that, never even heard of the brand. I think I'm going to get that, take it home and try it. I'm not too, I don't really hate the um, macros on it, so I'll do a review on that one. protein drinks that they have here but uh, the price is pretty average um, but if you only have two or three bucks and you need one pop into the local big lots it's not cold but they're not too bad I think I've done a review of them 
on my channel. So check that out if you get a chance. There was something really weird about this company that I didn't like, so that's why I don't mess with them. They got caught. I don't know, were they abusing the cows or something? I don't remember. Something crazy. Something. Something. I'm not going to buy this, but I have made a YouTube video where if you just want to add something a little bit into your protein shake and give it a different flavor, I would recommend getting one that has like very little to no fat because that's going to add more calories. Um, this does have 50 calories, so please consult with your coach before you take any of my, you know, advice. But four grams of carbs, two grams of fiber, and there's a little bit of protein, and the fat is considerably low. And it is, is this that one? Yeah, it's ten dollars for this this big old thing. just to change the flavor of your protein shake without committing to making it a peanut butter shake. So if you have like a chocolate protein and you just add in like peanut butter powder, it makes it taste pretty good. Probably don't even need that much because two tablespoons, you could use half of that. So I was wondering where the protein bars were because I haven't been to the store in a long time. Um, and I found them. They're not where I thought they would be. Because usually in the, they're in the food section. But they're over here by the, by the tampons and the pads. <laughs> and the vitamins. And some stores do carry um, stuff like that. Usually either find it in the food section. Or you can come across it in like the health aisle. Um, but yeah. These are great. I love these. Do they have a price on them? $2.49. That's not a deal whatsoever. Eh, $1.49 is not bad. I was holding it up here again. Sorry. Uh, the Fit Crunch Bars. You can get those for about that price. $2.49. I buy a big box of them from Costco's. And they're about around a dollar a piece, honestly. I think I'm going to get that and try it out. I don't know what it is. We're going to find out... If I like it, I'll come back and I'll buy all of them. 10 grams of plant protein. Let's see what we got up here. Collagen and brownie birthday cake blondie. 16 grams of protein. 5 grams of sugar. Just because it says 5 grams of sugar doesn't mean... Oh, drop that one. I'll pick it up in a second. Doesn't mean it's not loaded with a bunch of fat. Yada, yada, yada. Oh, here we go. Here it is right here. So we got... 21 grams of carbs, a little high, but it does have nine grams of sugar alcohols, which you can subtract. And then you can also subtract the fiber. 180 calories, me. I don't know, I mean, like I said, it depends on what your diet is. It doesn't look horrible. I don't need that. I don't need it. Ooh, 75 cents? Dad, talk to me, talk to me. 75 cents, eight grams of protein. Let's see if it's got an easier way to look at the nutrition. They got it on the back side right here. 27 grams of carbs, 200 calories, a little bit higher in fat, um, but it does have protein in it. Okay. Don't be fooled by the fact that just because something says it's a, it's a protein bar, like it doesn't mean that it's like healthy or that it doesn't have a bunch I was like what is this or that it doesn't have a bunch of random crap in it 170 calories 4 grams of carbs 13 grams of fat that's a little bit high but definitely going to be better than a regular candy bar ooh here's another one chocolate chip bar I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get that one too Dalla Fold 9 protein cookies oat and chip made with real chocolate. Let's look at the bag. So, one serving, the whole bag has 25 grams of carbs, eight grams of fat, eight grams of protein, 11 grams of added sugar. Come on. I'll pass. Come on. And then we have 
on these carb controls, which I was looking at this one a minute ago and I was like, oh, that's pretty decent for one piece. One piece, 10 grams of carbs, subtract the fiber, so four grams, subtract the sugar alcohol too. Uh, that's not bad. Those really aren't that bad. Let's see if this one fares the same. Seven, four, and three. That's not bad. Yeah. But I don't really need a whole box of these because I'll just eat them. So I'm not going to get it. I'm not going to get it. But if you ask me in my comments to try it, maybe I'll come back and get it. Or if you have tried it, let me know if it's worth it. I just don't want to end up with a bunch of something that I won't like. I was looking to see what was in there. Nothing. Active care gummy nutrients. I don't even know what it is. That's all that that looks like there is. Ooh. And they do have some protein drinks. That price is pretty average. Uh, $2.79. Don't drink these. These are freaking garbage. That's why you see them everywhere. They're trying to get rid of them. They're trying to hurry up and get rid of them. And then these are just different flavors, I suppose. Mm -hmm. um, these are not a deal. I would not recommend getting these from Big Lots. That's pretty average. That's pretty standard price. I do like them though. I like the, I only really like that peanut butter one though. The chocolate isn't that bad. These are not bad either. It's pretty standard in my opinion. Price wise. They have some protein up here, but it's not really something I can recommend without like trying it out. I've never heard of these brands. Six Star Whey Protein. It's a little bit high in carbs too. Eight grams. But it it does yield 30 grams of protein. That's kind of unheard of. <laughs> they have some other stuff here as well. Keto Creamer. Keto Coffee. I'm not going to mess with all that. Not a deal, not a deal, not a deal. 